What's going on guys, Krahu here and I have a round of Domination on Havana using the Spectre and as you guys can see um, I joined this game pretty late, it's uh, you know, this, they're winning but we're gonna turn around so basically what I want to talk about today is if you guys missed my uh, la latest Machinima post with the stakeout, link is in the description be sure to check it out and also check out this guy named Lasty um, I gave him a shout out previously, but I guess um, uh, I just want to do it again because I really think that that channel has potential. And so be sure to subscribe to him. Link is also in the description. And uh, be sure to say Krahu sent me. That would be pretty amazing of you guys. So now onto the gameplay. Um, Spectre is one of my favorite submachine guns. I already had a video up on my channel previously, like one of my first ones with the Spectre Death and Destruction and I think I'm gonna make like a little series off of it like you know MPL Death and Destruction or whatever um, because whenever I get these crazy scores with these underused weapons because you know I don't get killed by the Spectre a lot it, it might look like a you know great gun and everything and it is but people just tend not to use it I don't know what's the problem uh, I think it's great I slap on extended mags on it if it had dual mags I would probably run with that but extended mags it is um, I don't know if I'm using Scavenger though, I'm pretty sure I am. Uh, yeah, Tactical Mask with Scavenger, I'm pretty sure. And I tend to run with Hacker if I run with anything but Flag Jacket, I, I run with Hacker as my third tier perk, but I don't know, I, I guess the game previously, I forgot to equip Tactical Mask Pro with Scavenger and I just got so annoyed because it was, you know, constant flash spam and stun spam and, and all that good stuff, so that was pretty whack. So I decided to equip Tactical Mask Pro. Guys, believe me, it's more useful than you think. Tactical Mask Pro is beast. But I'm not gonna talk about that now. Um, I'm, I think I'm using, you know, the UAV with um, SR-71 and dogs. And uh, I'm sorry I sound like weird, but I just woke up, so I decided to hop on, do a commentary, and that would be it. And it's freaking freezing in New York. Uh, tonight it's supposed to be like 5 degrees Fahrenheit. Uh, so that's pretty, that's pretty gay in my opinion. And also I'm using... I don't know, I don't know if I ever picked up a weapon with this camo on, I think it's woodland, um, but it looks pretty good, actually, it looks pretty good, and the reason why I decided to, um, why I decided to post this gameplay in particular is because I constantly rushed the enemy, and I joined in late, and I came up with a pretty good score, um, so, I think I get like one capture, but after that we didn't even need to cap, because we had two points, so, um, so it's all good, um, extended mags can help you quite a lot, if you have, um, if you're in the enemy spawn and there's just too many, you know, people coming at you, so you can just basically spray and pray. And Spectre is pretty decent in doing so. Uh, I, I would compare it to the Tommy gun from World at War. It has very good hip fire. I don't know if I showcase it here, but I tried to like hip fire people from like a mile away. <laughs> but uh, other than that, you should definitely give it a shot. Spectre with extended mag will do wonders. Slap on scavenger on it, guys, because you don't want to, you know, scatter, run out of bullets, and then scatter, look for weapons, and then just die. So scavenger is a must, in my opinion. I guess you could run with whatever you want, but the most, I don't know, the, the best choice would have to be um, scavenger. That, but that's just my say. Um, and whenever I wanted to, you know, when I was close to a flag or something, like on, when I'm on C, there's just too many enemies, I can't cap it. Um, so um, hopefully my teammates will capture B. Um, and yeah, and hopefully we can win, we, we can win this, and we already started winning this a while back, um, so that was pretty good. And um, in their spawn on C, but then I, you know, I can't keep the uh, streak going, and I just end up dying. But this domination is pretty short though, so that's why I wanted to, to post it. And guys, I have a big surprise coming up for, for you guys, for everybody that subscribed to me. Um, I'm going to be doing a series from Metal Gear Solid, but that's soon to come. Uh, my video on Machinima Respawn should be up um, sometime next week of my first Metal Gear Solid 4 video. It's pretty epic, I mean, I'm so so proud of that video. It's just a walkthrough of a mission or something, but I don't know, it has that feel to it. And um, basically, yeah, uh, I'm looking forward to bringing you guys something else other than, you know, Call of Duty. Metal Gear Solid 4 would be a great break, I guess, from it. Because it's a type of game that I go back to every time I get bored of Call of Duty and stuff. You know, that and, you know, Metal Gear Solid and God of War. It's just two beastie series, in my opinion. 
And don't worry, guys, Nazi Zombies videos are coming. I'm gonna, you know, I think record some live session today on Dead Rise on Black Ops because that's my favorite map. Um, and that should be pretty fun as well. Um, but the game is winding up pretty fast now. Um, I guess I, I did good for, <laughs> you know, joining pretty late. My dogs went on a tear, but. Final score of this one is 43 and 5. Hope you guys enjoyed. Please don't forget to check out the description. Oh yeah, and I also got the <laughs> triple ending kill camp, but this is theater mode, so I will see you guys next time.